Most of us are sitting under cloudy skies. There are a few light flurries across uh, areas of the western UP into Gogebic and Ontonagon counties, but those are remaining very patchy. And for the most part, we will continue to have dry and cloudy conditions overnight. You can see here those flurries extending into western Wisconsin. And then there are some more snow showers over parts of the Dakotas, and we will have a better chance to see some scattered flurries moving into our area late day tomorrow. Temperatures around the Midwest are sitting at 36 degrees in Indianapolis, 27 in Marquette, 21 in Duluth, but our air mass heading into the weekend will actually be warming up just a little bit. We are going to have winds picking up out of the southwest, so that'll help to bring some of these warmer temperatures. You're seeing here temperatures in the 30s across St. Louis and Omaha, and we'll have afternoon highs getting into the 30s for Friday and Saturday. But late Friday into Saturday, a few snow showers will be possible just a light dusting at most for our area on Sunday for Groundhog Day dry conditions and very warm temperatures but the warmth will not be lasting too long next week we have a big cool down that is arriving around Tuesday for tonight low temperatures near 18 degrees in Marquette 19 degrees in Houghton a little bit milder toward the eastern end of the UP we have low temperatures around 24 degrees for Grand Marais and Manistique with cloudy skies overnight Tomorrow, the chance of flurries picking up a little bit late in the day with highs near 30 degrees in Marquette, 31 degrees in Iron Mountain, 32 in Munising, and a light breeze out of the southwest. For tonight and heading into the early morning hours of Friday, low temperatures in the upper teens. Friday afternoon, highs near 30 degrees, and then it gets a little bit warmer than that over the weekend. On Saturday, we'll be starting off in the lower to middle 20s. High temperatures for Saturday afternoon around the lower 30s, and the warmest day will be on Sunday. We'll get some sunshine, a brisk breeze out of the west, but that's actually going to help transport some warmer air sitting out in the plains into our area for Sunday, getting close to the 40 degree mark, but then we have some changes beginning on Monday. We'll have high temperatures on Monday around the lower 30s, and it's going to get even colder than that heading into Tuesday. Well, there will be a storm system off to the south. That'll help keep any warm air off toward the south, acting as a bit of a barrier. We're also going to have winds out of the northwest steering colder temperatures into our area. So early Tuesday, lows in the teens, highs Tuesday in the lower 20s, and then dropping into the single digits by early Wednesday morning. For tomorrow, we have a late day chance of flurries, high temperatures near 30 degrees, a low of 23 early Saturday, highs near 32, light snow showers possible in the morning and afternoon. For Groundhog Day on Sunday, temperatures warming up to 40 degrees, and then the beginning of some cooler air on Monday with highs near 31 and getting much colder as of Tuesday. Highs near 22 degrees with a possibility of flurries, mostly cloudy skies on Wednesday, starting off with temperatures in the single digits, highs near 20 degrees. Wednesday afternoon and highs in the lower to middle 20s for Thursday with partly cloudy skies. Back to you.